We are so excited about Bamboo Bike Ride this year, 2019. Last year, we rode from Rethymnon to Folasana, going around Crete talking about plastic pollution and sustainability and engaging different groups and asking them how we can make changes here in Crete. Uh, we are here in the far east of uh, the beautiful island of Crete and we're going to start the second edition of the Bamboo Bike Ride across the island tomorrow. Uh, we're following up on the last year's effort to raise awareness in, uh, in my island. I'm very excited to ride the bamboo bicycle here in Krita. Uh, and it's really interesting for me just to, to ride a bicycle that's out of bamboo, because which really interconnected with my project idea, bamboo wheelchair. So this bamboo bike can be a witness for the strength of the product, what we are going to uh, bring for the market. Tomorrow is a pretty long day, uh, mainly because here in the east there's not a lot of towns. Um, so we're going to do around 80 kilometers tomorrow on the first day. Uh, but that also includes around one and a half thousand meters of climbing. So that's going to be the biggest day. And from then onwards, we hope to have other people joining us as well. And the days are a little bit shorter, um, around 60 kilometers. The title of, the, of this action, of this year's action is uh, Take the Initiative. And some part of it is directed towards the people of Crete and uh, part of it is also directed to the politicians of Crete. They will ride from Sitia to Alunta, from Alunta to Heraklion, and from there, Bali to Rethymnon, we will be in Almerida on Friday night for everyone to meet us. We want to uh, like raise awareness of uh, sustainability uh, on the island and when we did it last year we connected with so many different people like school kids, business owners. So we are hoping to connect with people again and especially uh, the kids again. That was really remarkable. <music>so we'll be riding three bamboo bikes uh, what all these bikes have in common is the main material which is bamboo so all the the tubes are constructed uh, with bamboo and then they are reinforced with uh, certain materials to make them really strong and uh, work really well so we have uh, one bike for example that is reinforced with hemp fiber and then we have two bikes that are reinforced with carbon fiber as well um, all super light really stiff bikes and yeah i think they're going to be perfect for a terrain like this It was the first time I, uh, I've ridden a bamboo bike and it, uh, what was amazing for me was the, the elasticity of the material because uh, compared to the rental bikes we used, uh, it was smoother and easier to ride. Children so excited about bamboo, so conscious about what's happening in the oceans. Little children get it. They understand the crisis that we have. Teachers, parents, people in the streets waving and blowing kisses at us and thanking us for going to their villages. It's been really very exceptional. The, the school kids uh, on the first day that we visited, that was really fantastic as well. This is something I'll certainly remember for a very long time. Even though not everybody of our crew speaks Greek, you really do have the feeling that they get it. You know, you rock up with the bamboo bikes and uh, they look at it, they're really inquisitive, touch it. You, you really do have the feeling that they understand how important it is to protect, you know, their landscape, their beautiful island. People are more, more uh, interested to know about climate change, they're asking more questions, uh, they see that this affects them 
personally, their businesses, their roads, so they're more involved to what we're trying to say. We have to raise awareness to, from children to the local community. We have to keep the environment clean and to ask from the politicians to make it happen. We have to be all together, the society, the government, businesses, uh, environmentalists, scientists, children, education, all together, we have to enact. Climate change is something that we start to uh, be in touch with. Uh, Crete used to have an excellent environment, an excellent climate, um, with mild winters and cool summers, and this you see that this is changing. European Union Green Week is a great way of raising awareness uh, about ways for us to uh, protect the environment and protect our home, that's our home. It was really very amazing experience that we had. Uh, we met many people across the right, uh, students and different people who were attending the event, where they were supporting us when we were just passing by through uh, cities. So it was very interesting experience what I have already. When you're cycling, it's easier to get to know the place, it's easier to see the place. You're taking it all in. Just scenic roads up and down the mountains, always back to the coast again. Beautiful beaches, little coves, um, turquoise water, just really, really pretty. One of the greatest things for me this year was really that we could see the first results of our tour and our work last year. That was really amazing to see um, some bars, restaurants, um, yeah, using wheat straws, for example, instead of plastic straws and people are encouraged to use reusable coffee cups, for example, so that's really nice and it seems like a, like a small thing, but it's, it's definitely a start. European Green Week is something important because it shows that we all have to be responsible about our environment and about sustainability. And the future is there. And this cannot come only from the European community or from the states or from the municipalities. It has to be an action from everybody of us. We have created a lot of bike paths, uh, which is our good and different levels of uh, difficulty, let's say. It's around the villages, close the coast, it's everywhere. And we have created more or less 30 points where you can stop, you can park your bike uh, with nice view and also instructions where you are and where you may go with the bike. This time last year, I couldn't imagine that we'd do anything better. But we have, we've surpassed what we did in the first year. This year, the aim of EU Green Week has been to take the initiative in terms of enacting environmental laws. And of course, our focus has been here in Crete. The bamboo bikes, once again, are the most beautiful way to start the discussion about leaving behind plastic leaving behind toxic materials and thinking about connecting more with nature. People have greeted us with open arms, love and interest and they have been committed to listening to our presentations about making Crete a greener, less plastic and waste polluted place. We give ourselves a little bit of rest and then we start thinking about next year but we'll be back.